I need to sit that side because my face breaking out on this side. What? Sit on right here? Oh, no. Oh. On over there. Oh, right I guess here? it'll be okay. No, let me see. Your face don't look bad. You're a man. You can't tell the difference. You're right. All right. So you're ready? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to sit on and, and on my side? Oh, I'll be okay. I just, I'm sad about it. I think I'll be okay. Are you sure? Okay. Do you want to just switch? Because <laughs> okay. I feel like he you, needs to stay in the middle sad. to <laughs> make it like. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. Aesthetically. I'm okay. You look beautiful. Thank you. Right. I'm trying to be like you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like cash I just got this. I love, I love, I love, I love, I love you like la 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 la. I love you like la 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 la. I love, I love, I love you like la 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 la. I love you like la 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 la. Welcome to Consequences of Our Culture podcast. Um, it's just me and Stephanie today. No surprise. Um, t- today, <laughs> we're going to talk about this new crisis that is pushing the separation of, you know, black women and black men. Because we're really shitting on each other right now. Yeah. And we should be loving each other. But we'll get into that topic uh first off i'm randall i'm stephanie and let's get into it so if this kind of feels like the theme for all of the past year and a half has been like us shitting on each other yeah us in particularly like i mean white people do it too yeah, but I'm like, like I don't it's know if any, heavy if anyone if we're doing it more than anybody else i don't know i feel but, like um, we are. maybe because it's videos yeah i, think, I watch yeah but, and you know the algorithm and stuff is gonna right. show you the stuff that you you know right. they feel like you want to see and but i mean we are black we're a part of black culture so of course majority of the things that we consume will be black and so i think it just yeah i i never i don't want us to ever like feel like we're the only ones that are ever doing anything because a lot of times it's you know we're reflecting what everybody's doing but that's correct but yes um i do think that there is a divide um happening and it's just kind of it's sad oh it's It's really sad like it's it's like i feel like we're we're getting like we're we're worried about the wrong things and and i also feel like we're kind of all one in the same thing but we're just going about it in different ways right it's just I, this yeah. could be probably saved towards the end of the episode but i feel like i need to jump into it now mm-hmm. like a lot of the things that we're identifying about each other mm. are things that's necessarily a trauma like so mm-hmm. a lot of and it's far less than what people think, but a lot of there's a lot of single parent African American household, and a lot of them are raised by the you know the woman, mm-hmm. and a lot of a lot of dudes are more emotional. Not saying emotional is not a good term, but like their reactions to certain things, yeah. they're less patient than they should be. As for a and man, I feel like a man should yeah, have... Yeah, like they let their man, emotions lead them right, instead I, of logic. Right, I, right, exactly. Yeah. Like people, in my opinion, are one of two things. They're a creature of reason and a creature of emotion. Yeah. And I tend to be, even in my relationships, I was a creature of reason. I did what I felt like was best, and I put my emotions second. Mm. But a lot of women i feel like naturally are creatures of emotion and a lot of dudes being raised you know solely by their mom without a you know a a father figure in Mm -hmm. the house in the household Mm -hmm. tend to be creatures of emotion like Mm -hmm. they jump out the window real quick off of like one thing that you know the woman you know does there's a lack of patience for Mm -hmm. the for our women And the same thing with women. I feel like as far as women, some of the expectations Mm -hmm. that they have on these guys 
are like far too high for their situation because in a relationship it's not enough for a woman and for me for a woman for me to just be pretty like I I want a partner I want someone with a te- intelligence I want someone it really doesn't matter I want a nurturer mm-hmm. right it doesn't matter like okay a lot of people you know, had a problem with Kevin Samuel Samuels. And I don't agree with everything he said, mm-hmm. but there were some good points. Like, if a man is a true provider, he's not really concerned with how much you make. You know, I was raised that, like, not saying the man has to make more money, but usually in old school relationships, which I am kind of old school, the men were the breadwinners. Mm-hmm. And if you're... A stable man, in my opinion, you are financially stable. That's part of it. Yeah. So you wouldn't necessarily be, you wouldn't necessarily care how much a woman made. So a lot of these factors that women point out, like I make this or I make that, it's like the caliber of man you're looking for already has that handled. Mm -hmm. But I feel like, so there's women with no jobs, no education, well, no, you know, formal education from a college, mm-hmm. no real ambitions. That's the big thing. No real ambitions. But they expect a man, you know, with what, six feet, six figures, and what's the other one? Oh, oh yeah, the yeah, that. But <laughs> they expect these things, but like what nece- what are you bringing to the table, you know? Yeah. So the expectation that some women have is too high. And the expectation that some men have is too high either. But Mm -hmm. it's been a lot of promotion. And it's like, I've heard, like, men say, like, they don't want to date a black woman. Like, they're they're not attracted to black women. And I get that you could be attracted to other races, you know. And, but, I don't know, it just feels kind of, like, fucked up the shit on black women because yeah. at the end of the day like your mom was black you don't have to marry a black woman but i mean you can't shit on them you know yes yeah, so like go 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 marry your white woman or latina whoever and leave us alone you don't need to pull us into it you know i hate when they it's like it's okay to have a preference but to say you have a preference and hate another group to down yeah to down black. somebody else is just kind of ridiculous um is i feel like if and especially when people just because i want to go back to something else you said but to, but to continue on this really quick like the whole i don't date black women because they're they're too loud they're too you know they're too independent they don't know how to submit or they you know these different things and it's like you clearly have never like traveled maybe outside of your community or something like right. because they like black women are so um are so diverse like you can find like you can find the black woman that you want it, all over the country like we are not all the same and and to say so if you don't want that super like independent you know one that like maybe um, you know, has a lot to say, won't, won't, won't let you run over her or say, you know, or treat her any kind of way or won't let you, um, uh, whatever it is that you're thinking in your mind, like you can find that, you know, submissive and the submissive that they're talking about, the, you know, one that's under your foot or whatever, you know, that's like going to listen to everything you say and you're basically God. I'm sure she's out there, but like, to just, I don't know, just to dump on black women in general and say that all of us are one way is just right. like you clearly have not like gone outside your bubble because we, we you can find us in every just about every space. There is a black woman there. Yeah. Um, you just got to find her. Um, so, yeah. But also what you're saying, like when, with the the whole, you know, like women who like say that they want all these things like you need to be six feet tall and have six figures and all this stuff and they don't have anything to offer but also i feel like 
at least this is what I've seen in my experience. I feel like women like that who don't have as much going on for themselves, who maybe work at, you know, in the like fast food industry or something like that. And, um, you know, live in paycheck to paycheck and a rent in a, an apartment or something like that. I feel like they have it a, like they can find men a little bit easier because they don't really, because basically like he can be that man and like, you know, do provide and do all that stuff. But a lot of times the women that who have the degrees that like who own their own home and are doing things for themselves tend to like me tend to be told that we are, um, intimidating a lot of times and you know or I feel like you just got all this stuff going on and I don't really you know I'm not I'm just a you know director at YMCA so can't date you or I'm just a t- <laughs> I mean, that was a little specific but you know what I'm saying like yeah. it's it's like I have been told that a lot that like I'm like I have too much and it's like well, what was I supposed to do? Sit at home? I'm 31 now. So right. I'm like, I was supposed to just sit at home at the house and just like, and wait until a man decided to marry me. And then like, so that you can feel comfortable. Like it just doesn't, you know, make sense. But I don't know. I feel, I feel like people are so heavy hearted that like, they'll experience something. Like, you know, they date two black women. And, like, they necessarily couldn't handle them or whatever. And they just, like, wrote off all black women. Yeah. But like you said, everyone's different. Like, there's all a lot of the black women I've dated have been, you know, submissive. If, you know, if you could, like, communicate properly. Yes, if you show you can lead, we will follow. Because I would love to submit to a good man. Right. Like. But, like, not all black women are, you know, initially hostile. You know, like, a mm-hmm. lot of, it's a lot of stuff that's portrayed in society that's not mm-hmm. necessarily true. Like, yeah. a lot of black women are laid back. Um, I've been married to um, two black women and... Um, the first one, yeah, she she was definitely submissive. The second one, she wasn't as submissive, but she did like she was submissive, you know, to a, a certain extent. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, it's like proper communication and like trust, yes. because if yeah. if it's n- a lot of times like people aren't gonna follow a incompetent person an incompetent individual that's just kind of dumb as fuck you have to prove Mm -hmm. that you are a man basically like um i had no problem like you know in both my marriages i was as majority of the time i was the sole breadwinner i was able to support like an entire family like a family of five for the first one and a family of six for the second one I mean, I'm sorry, five and eight. Yeah. Did I do that right? I don't know how many people I had. Seven and eight. The first one I had five (laughs) kids and the second one I had six. Okay. (laughs) But, um, you know, I I showed that leadership and responsibility. And, like, when I made decisions, I was confident in them. I wasn't, like, fiddling my thumbs. Oh, well, uh, let's try this. Not on serious issues. Like, for jokes, yeah, but... I I put that trust that like, cause it, when a woman submits to you, they're giving you, you know, basically their direction, their their dis, you know, their decision. Like you're making a decision for the family, so you have to be someone of ample character. And a lot of dudes don't maintain that; they don't have that. A lot of dudes, you know, tend to be weak but at the same time there are a lot of good brothers out there. oh yes definitely there are a lot of stable men the most important thing we need to have is emotional intelligence and emotional maturity mm-hmm. that is something that's definitely lacking not yeah. just in the black community but most like american c- culture in general mm-hmm. there's not enough 
patience for one. There's not enough understanding. Mm-hmm. People are so quick to just okay, just checking time. People are so quick to just get up and run out and leave if something yeah. goes wrong. Mm-hmm. And for there to be trust, for there to be all those things, you have to be able to like like uh who the new edition says, stand the rain. That was new edition, mm-hmm. right? Wait. Ooh, Can huh? you Yeah, I know the song, the but I think... That was New Edition. It was. <laughs> it was. It was because they started... <laughs> take my RV card. <laughs> yeah, but a lot of people... There's going to be tough times in relationships. Mm-hmm. It's not, it's not going to be easy. Right. A lot of people feel like they find someone with the six figures, with the, you know all these amazing qualities that it's going to be smooth, no matter who you are. The relationship's mm-hmm. gonna have a rocky point. That's yeah. just life. There's t- it's two people that's coming together with who don't think necessarily exactly the same. No one thinks exactly mm-hmm. the same. People have different right. experiences and stuff, so they come up with different mindsets. But it's two people working together to be better. Mm-hmm. So no, it's yeah. It's a, go sorry. ahead. Well, sorry, I was gonna say I found that like for me a good like um, indicator that like this might be a good relationship that I'm in is, or it could be a potential good relationship is when I see how we argue or like how we like get over, like, you know, um, you know, tough conversations and things like that. Like every time that we, that I have had, I've walked away where we, we've been able to like communicate, you know, openly about whatever, you know, is bothering us. And, you know, and we, even if we just agree to disagree, and it's not turning into this big thing or it's not just being like, you know, swept underneath the rug and, you know, being ignored or, you know, him pretending like or even me too, pretending like there isn't like an elephant in the room when we're able to like actually talk it out. I'm like, oh, yeah, OK, this could work. Like, yeah, yeah. I love that. Like, <laughs> that is a good indication of assault. And that goes back to emotional, you know, intelligence and maturity. You have to mm-hmm. be able to listen and communicate. I have been in relationships where it's a back and forth thing. It's a tit tit for tat thing. Mm -hmm. It's a kind of, I got to get you back kind of thing. I'm going to act like I'm going to listen to you. But after, you know, you're done talking, I'm going to say what I had in my, in the back of my head this whole time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have to sit there and you have to listen. Mm -hmm. Not everything's an attack if they're yeah. if they come to you and tell you something they feel like you're doing wrong necessarily it's not necessarily an attack mm-hmm. they could they want something better for themselves better for you guys mm-hmm. and that's something they feel like they can't deal with so they bring it to you mm-hmm. it's better than them not bringing it to you but the way you respond to that says everything if you feel if every time i bring something up you feel like you're you're being attacked mm-hmm. then you're not listening because I don't dislike the person. I dislike the issue. Mm -hmm. I still love the person, you know? Yeah. Um, But a lot of us, we don't understand that. And back to the divide, like a lot of Mm -hmm. when I heard like some people say like black women are unattractive, like I've heard black men say that. Mm -hmm. Like that, that kind of hit, you know, mm-hmm. because not just because of my love for black women, because I love black women, all types. Yeah. Like, yes, we know. OK, <laughs> but I felt I know I'm going to go back into it in a minute. <laughs> but I, I felt like how can that's like saying you don't love a part of yourself mm-hmm. because you came from a black woman. Yeah. At the end of the day, like you didn't like you weren't just. You know, you didn't just appear. Right. You were like, you can't, you pass through a black woman's womb, no matter how much percent black she has. Because you know what they say, like, if, even if you have a little black, you black. Because mm-hmm. they don't want you a part of any group. If you have a little black, you a nigga. Yeah. That's, it is what yeah. it is. <laughs> yeah. So for you to come through a black woman and, like, talk that shit, like, that's, you can't, yeah. you can't possibly be completely comfortable with yourself. You can't possibly love yourself that much. But as far as black women, though, come on, man. Like, I date <laughs> other races. <laughs> but come on, man. Black women, like, both my wives been black. I've dated, like, Africans. Like, I'm any <laughs> black women are 
it. But, <laughs> you know. I have to agree for obvious reasons. But, yeah. but also, I mean, they are, I mean, we are often um, imitated, like, every like oh, the yeah. features and the all that features I mean, like the shape yeah everybody's and it's like they they want the like pieces of us you know as much as and as sad. much as people try to shit on black people like think of everything black people have contributed actually i'm not gonna get into this yeah, now where i gotta take a break that takes a whole nother thing yeah but we'll be back shortly Okay, we are back. And <laughs> guess who decided to show up? On right. time. On time. Not on time. Not on time. She on was your on time. time. Well, no, in my, in not my on time. time. Q, you don't even know what time she was supposed to be <laughs> Listen, here. We said Listen. one o'clock. I thought I was supposed to be here. It is 3.50. Okay, so they don't know what time I pulled up. So listen, I pulled up like twenty minutes ago. So technically, I, mean, I thought I was gonna well, be I mean, here at three forty-five, and, and I was early. <laughs> you let me down. I thought we was gonna be here at the same time. Uh, one and she brought her friend. Apparently, their friends. Uh, Q. Yes, I know we're yeah. friends. <laughs> yeah, we're friends. You guys act a lot. A lot Y'all even look like each other. You look oh. like sisters. I think it's like the eyes. Yeah. Yes, it's the eyes. <laughs> That's what it is. It's the eyes for sure. Yeah. Oh. You guys, I just ain't got no titties. <laughs> and then she has you all the booties. Yes, both. you do. And she has the booties. And then it's like we balance each other out. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> That's, That's what funny. it is. Like, what's yeah. the spice of life that you like, sir? Oh. Or ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> or ma'am. <laughs> Did you see the intro? Fun. Say what? Did yeah. You this is the second okay. part. That's how late you are. Oh. Anyway, <laughs> so we were talking about <laughs> the division between, uh, you know, what's been popular on uh, social media, the division between black men <laughs> and black women. And uh, do you have any opinions on that, Amber, or Q? Damn it, what was it about? You said why black men and women don't get along? Sure, go with that, yes. I think, see, I don't want to start talking about something different, but I do have something on that. Because I think that black men will date women that aren't black because they view us as difficult. And then to counter that, black women look at the black men like with a negative connotation because we feel like, not heard okay and like they say our standards are too high and stuff so it's like i see both sides okay so I see both sides what's your how do you look at black men what's your condensation i don't look at i can't like generalize it like i look at the high value men well but if you're you know got like five baby mamas and like you don't pay bills you don't help your girlfriend pay her bills, then I'm looking at you crazy. Mm. But if you, you know, carry yourself well and you're, uh, I don't know, just like a good person, then I see you, I'll, I'll look at you different. Okay. What do you, mm. what are your standards? What do you consider My high standards? value? Like yeah. if I'm dating? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what qualities do you um, feel like a man has to possess for okay. you to be able to date him? Okay, I'm not going to lie. I like a man who is generous. I like a man who will take initiative, um, emotionally available. Um, He wants to give you a good life, and I want, like, a partnership. I want to kind of be on the same page with everything and, like, I really don't want like any like drama. Like I, I want you to be my peace. I don't want you to come into my life and stress me out. Cause what value is that adding? Right. Yeah. So as far as the relationship yeah. dy- dynamic, are would you be more of a submissive relationship or would you be? Oh uh, yeah. Definitely. That's just, definitely. That's yeah. Mm-hmm. What about you, Amber? One hundred percent. I want to be submissive. Like I See? actually put that out two men in the beginning but literally i want them to show me that they want to be a leader 
Right. I, I don't. So. I have yeah. zero desire to lead the relationship. And that's the thing. Like, I want to be submissive, but like, I'm not going to be submissive to the wrong guy. You have yeah. to give me a reason to be submissive. Y'all are literally yeah. like confirming what we were just talking right. about. I was just <laughs> saying like that. There, black women will submit if if the man is worth submitting to. Like, you have to show that you can lead. Like, yeah. I'm not going to follow you off of cliff. Like, exactly. Yeah. It's like I Thank try you. to walk into the relationship submitting, and then we end up not even doing anything because they're not taking the initiative to lead and then right. act like it always turns into me blowing them off. No, I'm giving you the chance to be the leader and you're not taking mm-hmm. the initiative. Mm-hmm. Right. So okay. th- that's how most of whatever I have I mean, fall to pieces. Half the time they can't even off. make like even set a date. Like, you know, set come up with like you asking me, so so what are we gonna do? You want to take me you out, can't sir? you can't even take me out on a proper date. And then you want me to follow you and to like submit to you, and yeah. mm-hmm. you can't even plan a date. So it's because they're how are you so, supposed to? They're so used to like girls who don't set the bar or set yeah. standards. So then when they meet someone who's strong, mm-hmm. they're looking at us crazy, like, "Oh no, you want too much." Yeah, I don't want too much. This I want is the like, basics. yeah, this is just the <laughs> basics. Mm-hmm. Like, who yeah. have you been dealing with? Don't right. make me feel like. I'm the one that's like, you know, wrong. Mm-hmm. You need to step your your game up, sir. And unfortunately, I have been one of those women for so long that was like taking the bare minimum. I mean, the fact that recently I was happy because this man came to pick me up for a date and he noticed that my trash can was left at the end of the curb and he's just like, "Oh, I noticed your, your trash can still at the curb. You want you want me to bring that in for you?" Just that like, oh that God, little thing, me. and I was mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. "Forget the movie, let's go!" Like I'm, I'm done with. Like this is it for me at this point. You know, <laughs> all you did was take out, and then I was like, I, "Actually, I was gonna take the trash out." Oh, I got it. Like just that, just even that little thing, and realizing like I have just been like setting my bar way too low, just yeah. taking the bare minimum, and then being told I'm too much later. For, and I'm not even asking you to do to do anything. And that's what <laughs> I mean with by me like time. that's what I mean by initiative. I like that like mm-hmm. you didn't have to ask him. Yeah, Can, like you have enough common sense to see that the trash is full, and I, you know I don't want to take it out. So right. like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, like thank you. I've sir. had a boyfriend that literally <laughs> watched me take out the trash, and he hadn't. You didn't jump up. Didn't yeah. Say, didn't like I honestly grew up not anything. taking the trash out, so I actually expect right. The I'm used man to my to two brothers. I'm like I'm ready to call my brothers, Anthony, Andrew. Where y'all <laughs> at the trash? And you take it. Like, <laughs> yeah. like, like I, I know you live in Georgia wild now. Wild. <laughs> I know you live on the other side of town, but like, come take my trash out. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. And it's yeah. like those men did it. It's like we have the blueprint of relationships that lasted until you know a whole lifetime Mm. and it's like they're not taking the initiative to do those things yeah i don't know if men feel the same way about us because they were also used to women not working not having as many rights so we were more available to the men in that era back in the day but we today will still make ourselves available to a man that wants to be the leader Mm -hmm. yeah so what do you do you feel like those kind of women, which I think you said before, you, I mean, you've dated. Yeah, there's definitely, you know, you know what's portrayed isn't necessarily true. There's definitely a lot of black women who are willing to submit, who are willing to, like, you know, be supportive to their husband, who are emotionally available, emotionally intelligent, emotionally mature, who communicate and stuff like that. I just feel like, like the culture like, that we are in now. Like, you know, music, like, pushes, like, for the attraction of, like, ratchet people, you know, ratchet women. And at the same time, for, like, you know, dudes to be, like, assholes to women. It's like, you know, call them B-words, call them out their names, you know, be disrespectful to them, like, use them and leave them and stuff like that. But, um, and a lot of those people, like, dig into that, and they end up becoming those people. And, like... They're terrible in relationships. And that's, you know, I feel like that's a majority of what's being talked about on these social media things. But honestly, like, every black woman that I dated was, you know, necessarily a good experience. It wasn't like, 
you know, it's no different than any other, you know, race. And like yeah. I said, you know, I love black women. But um, that's about it, right? Can we expand on this? Probably not. We're done. Wrapping it up. I feel mm-hmm. like I have more emotions that I want to get out. Ask me no, about. it turned. It was good at first, but it just turned to y'all shitting on black men for a while. No, was, no, like, no, 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 no. I think it's just talking about like, okay, go ahead. You know, our experiences. Right. I, I think I'm more concerned of. I really want you to answer my question: How you feel like we did that? Because neither of us feel like we did that. Well, so in the beginning, it was me and Stephanie. We were like, hey. You know, this is what's happening. This is what's happening. And then you guys, you was like, man, you know, they don't do this. They don't do this. They expect this. They don't do this and this. And I get to your point, like, that the dudes you dated, you know, didn't do this. But I didn't want to, like, push the notion that, like, all black men were like that. I don't know. I, didn't, I, didn't I don't really even get think that. It was, think you were saying that the men didn't do it for you. I think you're just saying like generally, like what guys. Yeah. I think it was more so like what we would like them to do, not what they aren't doing. Yeah, I'm, yeah, only, I'm just talking about my experiences would... alone. Okay. More so. I mean, it could just be the pool of men that I pick. I could just really not know how to pick a man. Yeah. But also I think too is just saying like the kind of man that we would submit to. Right. Yes. Is like. You know, just doing those kind of things. Yeah, I didn't necessarily you know? say you guys were doing it. I was just like going off of my opinion. But mm-hmm. first of all, let me say I That's love okay. black men. Ten out of ten. Okay, like I want to marry a black man. I want to have a black man's kiss. Nothing against other races, but like I love black men. I think that's yeah. why we get so emotional about yeah. it because we want yeah. that. We don't want to have to like. I mean, not that I'm against dating outside my race, but I don't want to have to do that because right. I feel like the black men aren't doing what I need them to do. I want to be with a black man, period. Yeah. So that's just that's just that. Yeah, yeah. same. Black man, black baby, black kid, mm-hmm. no black neighborhood on a black street. Black, black, black. <laughs> Ain't nothing like a black man. Have you okay? dated outside your race, Amber or Q? No. I've attempted. Yeah. I've attempted. We weren't like uh, like official, but um, I've experienced it. Um do you want me to tell you how it went? <laughs> you can go ahead. Okay, uh, I can see by the face. Yeah, it, 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 didn't go well. it didn't. It did not go well. It did not go well. So at the end of the day, like you said, men are men. Just like how you said, like dating girls, like black, white, they're all like. There's no difference, right? right, right. There's no difference. Okay. Yeah, just like when I was saying in the beginning that like because we're we are all black and we consume black culture, like it feels like it's just us that's going through these things, but right. I'm sure it's everybody's mm-hmm. got, got stuff. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, I guess that's it. I think that's <laughs> a good ending point, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that does it. Um, you know, the divide between uh, black men and black women honestly comes from people who are only dating within a certain bubble and it's good to expand and look outside of like you know your normal everyday interactions uh i've always had good experience with black women i feel like black women you know are beautiful you know very important to me you know i have black i've been married to black women i have black children you know i just love black culture but you know you pick and choose and do what's right for you um that about does it i'm randall i'm stephanie i'm amber i'm q (laughs) and you guys have a great day Yeah, you're like really late. That's the whole point. But it's okay. (laughs) As we say in here, we love you anyway. Or at least I did. Randall didn't say that.
<laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> I knew. <laughs> I love you like la 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 I love I love I love you like la 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 I love you like la 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 Hungry. <laughs> it has all like a smoothie. Pomegranate shake over there. That's very mm. nutritious. Yeah. Just a bunch of berries. Mark, check one, two, one, two. Hey. Are they on? Mm-hmm. Okay. I think. I feel like I'm gonna try to sabotage. Hello. Don't check my Is it me? Uh, the cow yeah, jumped over the moon. On. Okay. And mine's on too. Oh, I think I can hear it. We should do an ASMR. Yeah. Welcome to Consequences of Our Culture. <laughs> so welcome to the Consequences of Our Pour Culture. Pour some syrup on the <laughs> Make background noise. Listen to the sound of the leaves. The pitter patter. <laughs> I used to actually like watch ASMR. Is that yeah. what it is? I used to watch that like religiously. It is satisfying. Night, but then it got weird. People just made it like a whole... It became more about like who can eat the most. Mm, yeah, like, like those mukbangs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was always crab. It was always black folks and crab. <laughs> yeah, the seafood boiled. I'm just like, what y'all trying to see about us? Yeah, I'm like. You gotta say something. Like hold the mic up. The cow jumped over the moon. You said that before. Okay, well, it's a classic. It is a classic. You go ahead, Q. Mic check one, two. Oh, yeah. Is that enough? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are definitely friends. 